All right, man, it's on every bite. Hubert. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mayonnaise on Every Bite, the show that endeavors to platform the African cycling community and beyond. My name is Sterling. I'm a career cyclist, former professional turned coach, consultant, and now your host. This conversation, ah, I love this conversation so much. This conversation is with Jean Hubert. He has four names. I can't pronounce them all. He he does that for us on the show, and it's beautiful. Um, I'll learn them at some point. But uh, Jean Hubert is, um, you may, not, may, not, may never have heard of him, but he's someone that I really admire. He is a, a young man, self-taught software programmer, knows how to build his own app. Um, just a genius guy with an amazing work work ethic and amazing uh outlook on life he's connected to cycling via his uncle the one adrian nianchuti two-time olympian um arguably i don't think anyone would dispute this the most prolific rwandan cyclist of all time and uh we get into a variety of topics. This conversation was stimulating. I love every conversation I get to have with Hubert. He's just a he's just a brilliant guy. He's someone that I I cherish as a friend and look forward to. I hope working with on future projects because he's just brilliant. He has some comments and um, some how how can I put this? He's a wise guy. He doesn't shoot off his mouth, and he's not into having conversations that are not constructive. He has some comments about the previous episode with Mugisha Moyes. He was present for some of the incidents that are talked about. He has a little bit of his um, view on the situation, which might surprise you, but I really appreciate his viewpoint. His is just one, of course, but I really, I love this guy. It's a joy to speak with him and I'm I'm honored to to bring him to to your attention to have hosted him on my show. Anyways, he's a brilliant guy. The rest is up to you to listen and digest. Please enjoy getting to know Jean Hubert, and I will see you next time. So, first question. Uh, I I have a tendency, a habit of calling you Hubert, like you know the I don't even know if I'm saying it right. The French, the French way. Mm-hmm. How do you say it? How do you like to be called? Uber. Uber. Yes. Sorry, I, I butcher French. Because uh, Adrian's always calling you Hubbard. Yeah, Hubbard, but it, it, is, it is not uh, written the same. Okay, so but what's your full name? Uh, there are four. It's too long. Okay, well, say it. Tell me. Uh, Jean Hubert Ishim Muraija. Ah, that's dope, man. That sounds so cool. It'll take me a long time to say, but welcome, man. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, buddy. I'm so, I'm actually like, I've been trying to get you on this show to talk to me for how long? Months, man. Months. Sure. I'm, re- I'm really excited Some to have you on. And uh, so people aren't really going to know who you are. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Do you want to tell people who you are just like briefly? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, like, you know, this, you know, brief background, like, you're involved in cycling a little bit, but what do you do? Like, what's your deal? Uh, outside of cycling or? Just in general, man, like a, a brief summary. Yes. So, um, I said, as my name's uh, Spurs, I'm, uh, I'm uh, a Rwandan. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's one. Uh, I'm 26 years old. Yeah. Now, and uh, by profession, I'm software developer. Software developer, self-taught, yes. right? Yeah, self-taught, of course. <laughs> Man, skills. Yeah, it it uh, software development is something you can sit down with uh, dedication, mm-hmm. and you just go. Yeah, you taught. I mean, yeah, the, the there information's no there. Everywhere. You taught yourself. In- yeah, sure. But that's a, that's saying a lot because the information is there, and a lot of people don't have the fucking memoirs, memoirs to teach themselves. Sure. It, it took me years. I remember when I dropped out uh, university because I saw what they were giving me and what, what I wanted was far different. So I spent a year uh, like reading books, 
reading books and uh, on coding or yes on coding of course on coding and uh, doing more practice more practice practice upon practice like practice practice is like build a website from scratch from like analyze from scratch yeah and i went in my room mm -hmm. like i could only go uh, i like to pray i can could go only go to church and uh, from church to home just to sit down and code only that for the whole year can you imagine two activities alone for you're, the whole year you're dedicated man yeah sure it, it, it requires dedication actually there is nothing more it is not about uh this genius mind no 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 it is hard work hard work you sit down uh, the app crashes yeah you try you go out you think about it you come you put some inputs again it fails it fails it fails until when it la it runs and the good thing is when it runs it gives you motivation actually it is like cycling when you go you succeed you get a victory you're like this is how it's done you move you train you train you train you go out you fail you get beat sure you come back yeah double down sure you won't take no for an answer no no, no. I, i remember when uh, yeah we, we, we can switch to to cycling sure yeah when, when, when i did my first uh, 150 kilometers i was like really <laughs> I was from Kigali to to Gitrumbi and come back. I Gitrumbi town. Jumba from Ramagana. No no, from Kigali. It is 157 from my home. Is it that far cuz if you go to Jikumbi town it's just at the top of the hill. It's for me it's like 120. W coming back? Yeah. yeah, yeah because for me I stay Oh, your, okay, your price okay. is a little you stay bit somewhere else yeah, right right sure. not right in downtown Kigali sure no that's a long ride man yeah so not it gives me motivation and yeah. now i went to Chorondi. yeah ninangarama obase uh -huh. uh, just go this and to gitrum and come back to kigali Aye. which was around 172 so right. uh, and you don't have a background in cycling it's not like you grew up doing it you just decided to take it on uh, because no, no, no. There is a background. <laughs> there is a background. Yeah, sure. There's a background. Uh, like uh, cycling, uh, for me, it starts from family. It is a, a family. Sure. It is a family gift, if I can say so. Uh, because should we, should we tell people who your uncle is then? <laughs> <laughs> tell people who your uncle is. Yeah, yes, my uncle is Adrian Yanshuti. Yanshuti, yes, two-time two Olympian. Man, he's an iconic. The he's he is the the leading standard of Rwandan cycling, professional 100%, cyclist. Yeah, yeah sure. he's accomplished more than anybody else by a lot. Sure. Yeah. So uh, when I grew up, I could see bikes. Yeah. Yeah, I could see bikes because I to go on the road on the on a road bike. Mm -hmm. I started in twenty two thousand nine when I was fifteen. No, yeah. Okay, so you, did, so you did have some riding in your legs. Yeah, sure. It, it, it's, it is from long, but because I, when I grew up, I could see, like, even many kids uh, or, uh, in our family yeah. has tried cycling one way or another. Right. Everyone's got to get a little dose of it. Yeah, sure. Maybe it's for you, maybe it's not, but you're going to try. 100%. Family tradition. Yeah, it's I family. I love that. Yeah. I love that, man. Yeah, it's family tradition because uh, even our Adrian is uncle which i can say he's my grandpa my yes he's he's a brother for to my grandma i uh, was uh, in a in 80s years of 80s yeah was a ma well, not not a man was the best in rwanda really sure 100 so like percent. before the era of abraham rumariza yes before the era of abraham and the era of uh People in 1994, 90, 95, you know, like that. before some, that. Somebody should put together, you sh you're probably the guy to do this. Someone should put together sort of like uh, a historical lineage of like the history of Rwandan cycling. Because if you, no one knows the story. Like everyone kind of knows that Tour de Rwanda existed before it became UCI, but it became UCI in 2009. Before that, it's very little known. There's a couple pictures of guys racing on dirt roads. And people who kind of just assumed that there was like two or three people riding bikes, but there is a history of bike there racing. There is a in history because even he did some races outside and he won. We need to put that together. Yeah, man. I think Adrian has a lot of information because it is the one he, he, he used to to mention in his documentaries or when he 
they wrote about him yeah uh, his uncle emmanuel who need, who give him the first bike we should we should do a book man yeah sure you should do a book Yeah. That'd be amazing. Are yeah. there, uh, is there other th- images? Are there any any photos? Yeah, there are photos. I, I, Adrian is someone who keeps records, my friend. Man, He I want to see that shit. photos and photos and photos. I want to see that shit. Even for me, when I, I go to his album, I, I can't, it can take me like <laughs> five hours. Like, hey, this one also, this one. Really? Whenever you see a picture, yeah, you just copy uh-huh. and keep it to himself. Man, that's so Yeah, amazing. I think he has a lot of history. It needs to be cataloged so it's not lost. And also, I think the world deserves to see it because the world is paying attention now and everyone knows Tour de Rwanda. Sure. And everybody knows that Rwanda is bidding for the world championships. But man, and you know, like personally, I know the history of the cycling and let's say a place like Eritrea, you know, the mm-hmm. Italian colonists brought it, you know, before the 20th century. I sure. mean, they've had cycling for like well over 100 years. Yeah. But in Rwanda, it's been around for a long time, but no one really knows. I don't really even know the origins of it. I think people knows, but it's not recorded. I mean, no one outside knows. Yeah, 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 no one outside. Yeah. It is just for people here. Yeah, yeah. A small group. It's an important part of the story that I think should be told. But anyways, so you're a coder, you're an app developer, you build websites, you taught yourself. You know, I... I I don't know if I love this story, but I've heard this story so many times of talented young people sure. that I've met and I've worked with on various projects. And the story is always the same. It's like I, I was doing this, I was doing that, I was in university. I dropped out and taught myself. Sure. <laughs> Man, it is something really good for me. Yeah, it's well. But this is unusual. But this is the thing. You're, you're part of a minority. You're part of, you're like way on the side of a spectrum of people that are, either very talented or very motivated, mm-hmm. right? Very disciplined. You know, most people need to go through the steps, but there's people that are very intelligent where the institution, the system, is just too slow or not informative enough for them to learn. They're like, you know, they need another step. 100%. So they just go, you know what? The information's there. I have the internet. Boom, I'm going to teach myself. Yeah, I remember I took the, 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 the syllabus for the three years in, my, in the university. The syllabus the, for three years? Like, uh, how do, do, do we call it? No, I know what it is. I understand. Yes. So uh, when I go through it for what lessons I will be taking for the whole three years, Yeah. I say, no, no, this is not what I want. It's too slow. Yeah, too slow and not what I wanted. Hmm. Yes, for me specifically, I, I wanted to be a software developer, a coder. Mm. Yeah, someone who can think about some an idea. Yeah. And We're going to come back to this software development sure. thing because I have a question for you about that. Yep. But let's stick to cycling. And I want I, if I want to cover just a little bit how you and I met. <clears throat> yes. The first time you and I met was over email, mm-hmm. right? I sent you an email about... Uh, it's not. It, they're no longer doing it. But uh, Adrian, Nathan, and Abraham and Rafiki had put together the Global Riders. Yes, and you were managing it. Yes, yeah, sure. Right, and somebody and people always message me like asking me about like tourism. Who do I contact about this? And I was just like, I contacted. There was a link. I emailed you, and you responded to me. And we had a little exchange over email, and I was just like, whoever this is, is professional they're really on top of the game and they have information Mm -hmm. and they had no idea who you were but then i saw you at a race i think and then i put two and two together i don't know if we actually met in person but i knew that you were adrian's nephew Mm -hmm. and i observed you from a distance i was just like that dude's got his act together whoever the fuck he is true right he's Mm -hmm. he's 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 got all the information he's responsible he can communicate on whatsapp email i can see him at the races taking care of business Mm -hmm. And, you know, forget the context of Rwanda, no matter where you're from, when you see someone like that who's on top of their game, you just go like, you just kind of make a mental note of just like, that person is professional, they're, they're someone who does, walks the talk, mm-hmm. and, you know, I, in the back of my mind, I was like, that's someone I'd like to work with if I could. Sure. And uh, we didn't really get to know each other or anything, but we met and interacted a few times, but... Uh, Cut to cut to January 2020. We're in the middle of training camp, intense training camp, preparing for Tour de Ronde 2020. Uh, we had started November 1st, so we're two months in. We've got two months to go. And uh, I sort of knew that this was going to be my last mm-hmm. Tour de Ronde with the national team. I was fed up with how they were handling things. I was fed up with the politics. 
the lack of support and I was just like I can't keep I knew my I knew at the end of my contract that I wasn't going to try to continue mm-hmm. and so I was just like let me make this the best one I can but I was also thinking really hard about like who's going to replace me like I want I want someone to carry on this legacy mm-hmm. I don't want to just leave the team I felt you know responsibility of the team and I thought of a few people you know that I think I've told you before that Valens de Senga, yes, two-time yeah. winner of Tour de Rwanda, he was one of my top candidates. Very smart guy. But he left. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. He bounced, man. He's not yeah, here. Sure. He's living abroad now. He's living a different life. He was just like, I'm out of here. And uh, that's another story. I'm, ho- I'm hoping to have him on the show as well. We're going to sure. have to do an interview on Zoom. But um, but I was just like, you were somebody that I thought of. And so I, I sent an email to Ferwasi, the National Federation. I said, all I did was ask for permission for you to come to training camp and shadow me. Yes. Just, just to be there, just to be present. Yeah. You know, I wasn't asking for them to hire you or pay you or do anything. I just said, can he come and be with me? So anyways, I sent this request to Ferwasi. I was just like, here's this guy. Can I bring him on as an intern? And I got no response. And I was just like, I, I didn't. I didn't send like multiple, multiple emails. I showed you the email because mm-hmm. I still have it. <clears throat> and I was I was so busy. My head was down and I was suffering from a bunch of stresses and I was 100% focused. And so I just kind of moved on. But it really it really frustrated me that that they were not interested in even allowing me to have a potential, uh, you know, successor for my role to come in and train with me. And, and the reason why I bring this story up is because mm-hmm. Even though you never raced professionally, with the faculty, and this, here, here I go, it's my turn. <laughs> with the faculty that you have, the faculties that you have, you know, the, 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 the initiative that you possess, the discipline you possess, and the intelligence that you possess, and your connection to cycling, and your exposure for, that you've been able to observe, and the way you were able to teach yourself, I was very certain, mm-hmm. you know, about as certain as you can be about anyone, that you had the potential to lead the team and not only to lead the team in terms of a leader, Mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, rallying the team, getting them pointed in the same direction, handling all the conflicts and interpersonal and different personalities and stuff that it takes to be a coach. Mm -hmm. But I knew that you had a unique ability to learn the science, right? There's a lot of, there's a lot of people that are potential coaches in Rwanda and you know they might have leadership personalities or or this or that but like even adrian it's like he's a wonderful coach and he's got so much experience but if you want to sit him down and teach him new science it's going to take him a little while he's a little bit old school true. right mm-hmm. you are from another generation you have yeah. a different brain that's the reality i'm we, not we, saying that, i'm not trying to say that you know you'd be a better coach no than no no like that. <laughs> i do understand but what i'm saying is i was just like this guy would be a a fucking amazing head coach mm-hmm. for the national team. Mm-hmm. And it just frustrated me that they ignored it. And so we and I both know the story. I'm taking a long time. Sorry I'm so long-winded. But what I wanted to ask you is, what's your feeling on that? Why do you think they ignored that? Why do you think there's not even any a response, any attention given to that? And why are they so, why do they not even consider someone like you for the role? It is hard to, to respond uh, like it, we'll speak plainly bro. yeah sure 100 uh, percent there is no problem about that uh i think everything has uh, happens for the reason uh, uh, there is a reason behind everything that's one a cause right yes two it takes time like for me the way you saw things yeah or the way you see things for me it take it, it can take me years or sometimes to see the way you see Mm-hmm. And uh, like uh, to pass to perceive the, the the same way we, you perceive. What do you mean in terms of? Uh, like for example, if you approach them, for them maybe they ha- they saw the email, uh-huh. of course, and they say oh, the way we saw this guy, no, no, for us he's not the best choice. Mm-hmm. Let's say like so. So what I say, what I see, what what I say is this one is this. Uh, maybe they see th- things this differently. You know, like well, obviously they see things differently. Yes. But what is it you think they see differently? Why is there not even a discussion? Why would they not even say no? Yes, <laughs> it uh, man, I don't know how to respond because, like, 
may, may, maybe this, they had they had some like issues uh, you, you, personally so, with you. you yeah. yeah. The, yeah. Maybe may, what that that's what I can say. Yeah. The, Be, because we were at a point definitely where any recommendation I made I made they were yes. just going to ignore. Probably you're right. So I was I was part of the issue. Let's say that that's what. 100% because I have been the same like position like that But where, where where you can you can email someone mm -hmm. and you know what 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 you are putting on email is right, right. and is if it is done correctly it will bring results but they they throw it under the bush yeah but like okay let's take me out of the equation let's say someone else recommended you do you think mm -hmm. they would respond do you think they would give you a chance Man, it is really hard to to answer that because uh, the reason why I say it is really hard, if I say they they want, maybe they could like they they will accept or not based on. Uh, bro, bro, I'm gonna put you on the spot because we talked about this before, and your, yes. your response when we talked about it off air, <laughs> on a different day was yes. when I asked you the same question. Mm -hmm. You you said you shook your head and said they will never, they can never do that. Yes, they would never. Why do you suppose that is? There is something you said about a new generation, actually. Yeah. I realized that uh, many many old school people, it is hard for them to understand we, we new generation. What I'm saying is I, I don't despise their knowledge, mm. their experience which is very, very, very important. No, you're the kind of guy that strikes me as someone that has respect for your elders and for authority, as do I. Yes. But, there, but there does come a point when elders or authority, uh, if they're unwilling to, to, to do anything to prepare the next generation, because the next generation, they're the ones racing the bikes. They're the ones that have to take over eventually. You're not going to live forever. Yeah, you, you know what? Look, look uh, in African countries. <coughs> it is very hard to see young people in uh, high positions. It's rare, you mean? Yes. It's rare, you mean? It's rare, well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is not uh, very often. So you think it's sort of a. I mean, that's a pretty broad net to say Africa. <laughs> yeah. All Just, African countries? No, no, let, let, to say, like, generally. Sure. Uh, because I'm an African, like, I can, uh, I know what happens to many, like, countries. Even you can see. It's, uh, you can even say this about the U.S. You can say this about the U.S. Like, the president yeah, we have even, now. Yeah, even, even to your country Bi the same way. Biden's the, I think he's the, I'm, I have to do some fact checking. I think he's, like, the oldest president we've had. I'm not sure if it's the oldest president ever, but the dude's almost 80. Yes, what wanted what I wanted to mean is it is generally like there are very few people who is understanding the new generation actually. Right. And uh, and uh, what I have realized when we are given chances, mm -hmm. trust me. When we are given chances we can do good things. I'm not trying to buy myself or just to approve myself. But uh, I'll approve you. <laughs> I endorse you, man. Yeah, yes. So, But that's my point. I, I was I've been trying to endorse you, and it's just like yes, nah, yes, nothing. Uh, for example, very recently there are some old people I have been working with them, and uh, it is like they trusted me. Yeah, and that uh, they try to understand like I, I'm in the we are in the new era. There is a generation which is coming, and set set me like before, and. Uh, That's okay to go in their in their guidance when it is good, but generally, what one thing is lacking to understand what we people, we young people, can deliver. I know. That's I think that's a key thing right there is that there's not an the, appreciation for how much power there is in the minds of your generation. One hundred percent. But but that's okay for me. Trust me. Why is that okay? Yes, I'm going to explain you that. Okay. Very 100. Sometimes you have to like you have to walk yourself to prove yourself. I'm not sure if you get what I want to no, say. No, like, 100. Yes. So, for me, my mind is this one. If I know, if I I came to you, I know what I'm suggesting to you is very important. Mm -hmm. And you you prohibit me, or you just say no, 
Mm-hmm. For me, I don't take it as no. I try to keep on think, you take thinking. Take it as a maybe. Yeah? <laughs> you take it as a maybe. Uh, yes, a maybe. For now, you say no. Right. But as far as I know, it is good. I will keep on it. Right. So for me, like I said, okay, if if like it is like to say, if this door is closed, right? Really, is is the only door, or there is another one beside it? So what I want, what I want to say is this: uh, if if they don't understand like us, let's make let's call it generally. Mm-hmm. We should not like say okay, leave it. No, no. As far as we feel that inside inside the heart that there is something we can do good, we, we there is an added value we can bring to our cycling community or even other parts. Right. So for me, it is homework. I say no, no, no. I won't give up. I won't give up. I will, I, will, I want to, I want fight. Yes, because also that I think that's not good because. I can see oh, no no they they for if I we, we go to your point about the email I said no why didn't you no know, why you you do that right. and for me for me personally I do never do that what I do is say oh, okay you don't accept let me try to do something else that we prove you right yes that's how I respond to 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 those like barriers but you have man your attitude is just. <sighs> Man, your ad- your attitude is so is so solid, my friend. It's really. so pristine, man. Like man. I mean, I wish I had your work ethic. I don't I, have your work ethic. I I I don't even when I think about uh, giving up something I like, I feel like crying. Man. Trust me, I feel some like this tears is, coming. But see, this is the reason <laughs> why you should be given an opportunity, and this is what frustrates me personally because, you know, we have this gap now. We have this gap now in leadership for you know the head coach. We've had Felix Sampoma step in. He's sort of left his team Benediction Ignite to the side, and he's filling this role temporarily as head coach. And Felix is a great. He has a lot of experience in cycling, and he's a good leader. The 100%. athletes respect him, but you know he's not the right guy for the position to take the team into the next years. They need someone that is really committed to the role from like, if they want to have the world championships for the next four years, they need someone that can learn the culture and be dedicated to the team and lead them, you know, to build build a culture in the team, to lead them spiritually, you know, to lead them in their patriotism and their training, get to know the athletes and develop young athletes and oversee the whole program. That's what they need. They don't need someone who's a businessman, also has a profession. I mean, nothing against Felix, Mm -hmm. but, um, Anyways, bro, I, I'm going on and on. But, yeah, I can't say enough about your attitude. You bowl me over, man. I, when you talk, I'm just like, man, I need to take notes. I wish I would. You know, <laughs> I need you to coach. Like, that, I was asking. That is too much, my friend. I was asking them for you to come and be my intern. Now, I can teach you something about cycling science because I have so many years of experience in it, and it's my expertise. Mm-hmm. But I could learn so much from you as well. Which is, and I, I, I hope, I pray that you and I get to work together on things in the future, and I'll get to some of those ideas later. Yes, uh, the, do you know the the ground of all the like the ground, the common ground, yeah. which which like helps me to stay focused. I like to run, to learn. <laughs> really, I like to learn, and uh, I do never like feel myself like uh, you know I know this and uh, sometimes for me sometimes when I go some places you know what we call marketing to market yourself right sometimes even I don't do right well, I know it be, be, business way be, oh, you're too humble bro you're too humble yeah, you're so self for me, trust me I, I really like to learn yeah and whenever whenever even uh, like Adrian can be my witness you know what even up to now yes I I'm not yet very far from in cycling. There's a, a, a lot still to learn. You know more than most, bro. But you know what? When whenever we are together, I almost every time ask him questions. Yeah, you're about his career. You're curious, and that's one yes. of the best qualities you can have, and it's also one of the best qualities I can have. Wherever I go in the world, one of the most important things, one of the most important traits you can embody is to remain curious. One hundred percent. And to remain, yeah, to remain a student of everything. Yeah, student, and yeah. never, f- and and never take yourself as like now I'm. Uh, I've so arrived. No, 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 no. Well, see, that's this, very, and th- very bad. And, and this is uh, this is one of the things. If I can, if I can make a critique. Yes. If I if I'm allowed to about certain pockets of culture here mm-hmm. is that. 
there's people there's there there's to me it feels like some of the people that are in positions that could be doing things they have the power to do things they have that attitude of i've arrived i don't need to learn anything i'm the boss that's the that's the very big problem and they don't want to move up or down they just want to stay where they are that's a very big problem really a Anyways, very big problem we we could go on all day about this but let me let me just ask you for your quick comments mm. um regarding the head coach thing because recently there was a little bit of noise on twitter um people suggesting like asking the question of why adrian himself has never been considered for head coach mm. and uh you know i think i already tweeted some things i i don't you don't you don't fuck around on twitter too much which is actually <laughs> probably a good idea uh and you know neither do I I do very little but anyways I wanted to ask you like you know why why what are your thoughts on that why is Adrian not considered why is he not been contacted why is he not even been offered the job like well like we said he's he's the, go, mo- he's the most accomplished Rwandan cyclist in history that's okay yes before you go to be to be realistic before uh-huh. you go he was already working with Skol true but so is Felix he's working with his team okay that moment i can say it depends on the organizations like like but but that's okay so there's a conflict of interest i get that but why was why was it not even discussed man. why 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 was there not even a response from the ministry or for from ferwasi about that discussion uh the, 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 the uh, was adrian recommended before uh felix stepping or after i think it is after It, it, it he, is very recent actually. It wasn't even that he was recommended. The question was just raised uh, what? Yes, on uh, social media. It was just raised. Someone just posted the question is why has Adrian never been considered for this yes, position? Yes, honestly, let me let me give you my opinion about that. Okay. Uh you know, uh Felix has been uh, like working with national team for long. Yeah. Yes, he has been uh, like even since since 2016 or 2015. even well well before that yeah yeah before that he he could take a uh, national team outside mm-hmm. so, yeah i used to i used to because yeah, e- e- even had, in your era we had multiple programs yes. going on so we'd be training for this race and for this race and i couldn't go to every race yes so for me my tactic was to say you know you speak better french than i do i've trained the team i prepared mm-hmm. the team you go to this race so i can stay here and prepare the team for this race yes one so one. i didn't go to all the races yeah so what what for me my opinion is this well, like the way i can see mm-hmm. is that felix he, uh, he has been with national team for long that's one which i think was was among the reasons you're you're, you're i don't think you're understanding the question i'm yes. not comparing Adrian to Felix or uh, to you, you are saying I'm why I'm asking why did they take why age like is base, basically here's he put it let me put it to you this way mm-hmm. Adrian stopped right he's been retired for two years now so no three years three okay three years yes, why why as soon as he retired was he not approached why why in the past three years has he never been approached I mean he on paper he is the most qualified rwandan in the country to be the to lead the national team mm-hmm. i'm not i'm not saying you know there's a whole bunch of other things that go into this personality wise and stuff like that my personal bias and maybe people will criticize me for saying this and mm-hmm. i know that you'll probably shoot me down as well and disagree but if i had to choose between you and adrian i would choose you <laughs> <laughs> because I'm thinking about five, ten years. Yes. I'm thinking about ability to grow. Yes. Now, in an ideal world, there would be a collaboration. Maybe you and Adrian together. Maybe you, me, and Adrian together. Yeah. You know, it wouldn't just be one person that's just like all alone. That's true. Right? But anyways. Where's where's the offer? Where's the discussion? Um, about Adrian. Why Adrian was not considered. Ever. So- maybe because you were still there not going to be no no even but man he okay here's the thing i'm a westerner yes i'm an expat yes expats are brought, when you when you hire an expat mm-hmm. for a position like that you basically have to prove on mm-hmm. paper mm-hmm. you have to advertise for the job mm-hmm. and you basically the only justification for that is if this outsider is bringing in skills to do this job 
either significantly better than any Rwandan can that we have in the country, or there's no one in the country with the expertise that can do this job. Yes. And the idea is always that it's not forever. Mm -hmm. It's temporary. That's right. Right? Now, maybe if I, you know, if I became a citizen and I'm here forever, but even if I was, I was here forever, my, I started working with an NGO that was, had the same, had the same mandate where they weren't going to be here forever. They were here to teach, uh -huh. hand over to operations slowly. Yes. You're an expert now. You're an expert now. You know everything I know. I'm no longer needed here. Right. Yes. And you can stay in the country if you love it. Right. You can live, you can live in Rwanda if you love it. But you're, the idea, like they, we're talking about a government job. We're talking about the national team. We're talking about the national federation. You're talking mm. about being paid by money that comes from Mini Kofing to the Ministry of Sport to, for, you know. So it's like, it was never, I was never supposed to stay there forever. Yes. So if you ask me, you know, even if I've been successful for years, there should be a discussion about who, who's going to take my place. 100%. Who's a potential successor. Yes. Right? And when Adrian retired, that is the that is the mo most natural perfect progression it's like he's available now he should have been a uh, step in immediately well they should have at least had a discussion maybe he doesn't want to come back maybe he wants to stay in italy like you know his wife and his baby live in italy he has another yes. life yes right everyone mm -hmm. has the you know everyone should Reset. be able to be free to make the choice of where they want to live and what they want to do and maybe he prefers his life in italy that's up to him mm -hmm. But it should have at least, in my opinion, there should have at least been a discussion about like, hey, you're available now. Mm -hmm. Would you like to lead the team? Let's talk about how this works. The only problem I see there is about planning. <laughs> yes. You're going to chalk it up to planning. <laughs> how, what, what planning has to go into that? Yes. Well, no, I'm talking about why wasn't this discussion even introduced? There wasn't even a mention of it. I think it, it it should be in a plan. It should be planned. This this is the reason why. If you plan for the next ten years, you you know that Sterling will not be here maybe for long. Yes, and from that time you do you do plan, you now start to find who is going to 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 be in his place to be the successor. Yes, so for me I, I would like to say maybe nah, maybe. May, may, Mm? I disagree with you. I think you're being. I think that you're being politically correct, and I think that you're not. I don't think you're answering me honestly because I think you know exactly what the problem is. I think the problem is that it is purely political, and I think that mm -hmm. no one is no one is ignorant of the reality of you know. Oh, it takes years to develop cyclists. Oh, we should plan ahead. It's just that no one does. And people are interested in the political power, the political positions that these roles represent. They're not interested in the people that make decisions don't seem to be interested in what's best for the national team. What makes the most sense for the sport? Because where does Adrian come from? Mm -hmm. Does Adrian have, you know, is he, does he have political backing? Does, is he from, you know. Uh, great family. He's from Mamagana. He's a normal guy. If it weren't for bike racing, he'd be nobody. Sure. So would I. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get myself in trouble by if I say too much. But basically, <laughs> I just wanted to get your 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 thoughts on that. And I, just, I I respect that maybe you you don't want to speak. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not gonna speak for you, but <laughs> you don't want to put your foot in your mouth, maybe. But anyways, mm -hmm. last thing, yeah. last thing about this coaching role is that there is, and this this is something that maybe you you can you can confirm or maybe sort of um, better articulate or maybe you can just uh, falsify it for me. Mm -hmm. It seems to me, my impression has been yes. that one of the issues, one of the answers to the questions that I'm asking you, yes. is that there is there's a cultural nuance mm -hmm. there's a difference in the way that staff and athletes respond or respect yes someone like me yes versus someone like you 100% what's that about i can say like it, it is very easy mm -hmm. like for me if, for me and you if we live together here mm -hmm. So for sometimes when I like we we talk we leave I will start to yeah telling he's my guy mm -hmm. and 
for some more times a long time i would take your arguments like yeah i know the, i know him huh? right and uh, when someone is is from outside because you don't um, one you don't you do not know him mm. it is very easy and that's one two easy to what easy to to listen to understand why that that's no that's it that is no more i think that's no more look your friend whom you know you know very much no 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 i'm talking about respect yes i, I was going to to reach that point okay yes also the, the the second point was is this one white people it yeah. is, this is not about uh this is not uh, not about uh racism no no but white people they are like more uh accepted westerners Yeah, let's say Westerners. Yes, they are more accepted. Let's they're, let's use that way. Their word. authority is more accepted. One hundred percent. They're generally assumed to be experts. Yes, that 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 will lead us to our first question. Okay. Why do you think I could not be accepted by the team, by the, the athletes? Yeah. Yes, yes. You, the, the first question you, you right. when we start this podcast. Going back to the beginning, why would they not? Even, why would the federation not even consider you? Yes. They know this. Yes. It, it, it like it correspond you this question and the first one it yep. is like the same full circle yes yes so <laughs> man this is the reality we have to live it is the I, i don't say it is a reality to say no that's how it is let's remain calm and no 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 we know your attitude the door is closed but that doesn't mean no yeah, yes yes it is like uh be wise be wise like because for me you said i can't it means i can't really like if you say i i i don't have that knowledge i don't have that exp- that expertise huh? mm-hmm. sort of kind it it is not the reality because you said so right yes so for for us what i think we can do is one we accept the reality But right. but that's important. That's important yes. to accept what is, and then ask what can we do about it. Yes, yeah. very wisely, and mm-hmm. try. Like I think for me, there is there is always there is always like a, there is always a room for everything. Like hopefully the, you y- can make room for it. Yes. So for me, it is like, okay, do I do I like do I believe my in myself like to say I can do something? Mm-hmm. Yes, if you can now try to find those step small steps right. which for you can manage. Mm-hmm. Like like if I tried like to 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 climb a uh, 10 kilometers maybe it would take me years but if I try like uh 500 In- you're talking about it, incremental iterations of working on a problem. Yes, until yeah. when until when like your community is changing mind. Right. L- This is difficult though, right? Very but, he- but here's the thing. Mm. We know this from you know human science that's all over the world is that these kind of changes, these kind of cultural trends, what everybody will always tell you is they take generations. One hundred percent. You are the next generation. Yes. So what can we do? And even if the federation knows that this is a problem, and they can use that for gender or whoever makes the decision. Mm. Even if they can use that for justification for not considering you, or mm-hmm. even considering Ad- Adrian, you know, for example, I've seen issues with Nathan yes. trying to do things that F- that, F- that Felix has no problem doing. Mm-hmm. Now Felix is much more respected, but he has, you know, a different background. But even if this is the case, and even if there's justification to say like, now nah, that's not going to work because we know of the, about this problem, how is that justification? for not trying to attempt to change the problem. So if we know this is a problem, but we want in the future people like you to lead the team, okay, then it would make perfect sense, all the sense in the world, one of the first things you could do to work on that problem is to allow you to come join me where they respect my authority, you're with me, and we work together for a while. Yes. To change perceptions, to 100%. change people's minds. Do you know why I'm laughing? You know, my friend, like, look, this is your house. Uh, you, well, it ain't my house. It is rented. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the time it rented, it is yours because yeah. no one can get you out. For And you can, you can, yeah, you can let anyone, like, 
anyone you want come in on right. or go out right now i like to use example you are here like maybe i can come and knock on your door and say no 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 yeah. no huh? and and maybe i was i was coming like to say hey you know what there is an like uh, there is an issue in your house i know about it please let me come and help you and right. for you say no say now nah, go away yes gender <laughs> yes <laughs> So if you said so uh-huh. for me who is outside what can I do Right I can, I I can't fight with you I mean you can try to fight it, it will not make sense actually When people come to collect bills man they they <laughs> they try for a while until I'm so annoyed that I open yeah. the door You know there there is there is one of our history You have to make Astrona. noise you have to make noise which can get you in trouble but that is the whole point Let me tell you bro. Mm. The, this is not a fi- this is not a career move for me. This is not financially uh liquid or responsible. Like doing this podcast, buying all this equipment, paying someone to edit, all this stuff that I'm doing, I'm I've wait I don't want to say I've wasted. I've lost, spent way too much money on it. It's not making me any money. It takes time. I there's other things I need to do. Other things I'm stressed about. But you know, in my position now and the experience that I've had in the past 6 years, I was I felt responsible and I felt desperate to have these conversations and to make them public. Mm-hmm. Even if it's scary. Because yeah. because here's the thing, these conversations happen whether nobody anyone hears them or not, and I have become so frustrated with the fact that these things seem so clear and so apparent to so many people and no one talks about them. Right? And it's not as if we're trying to put anyone in prison. It's not as if we're trying to point the finger at one person and say you're a bad guy. We're not yes. trying to take anyone down. Yeah, What sure. we want to do is work together and progress. Sure. You know? Yes. What are, I, 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 what, I what is what is the, what is the what is the phraseology of kibuka? Mhm. Isn't it like remember, reunite, Re- reunite, Re- renew? Yes. yes. That's what we want to do. Yes, sure. Right? Mm-hmm. And cycling sport in general, but especially cycling in Rwanda is such a powerful tool for that. There's only a few people that race, right? Only a few people can be a head coach or a coach in general, or be on a club, mm-hmm. but it impacts the community. Yes. It sets an example. It's a laboratory of where you can do things where you can work. I mean, I I'm so passionate about this sport. I could go on forever. I wrote a book about it. I'm trying to finish it. But bro, <laughs> I I go to man. So that I mean that was that was the the last I think tricky question I had for you about that issue of this sort of I mean rate I don't think I don't I wouldn't call it racism I would mm. call it cultural differences. Yes, true. And stereotypes. Yes. And things that are ingrained in culture. Yes. That it would benefit everyone if they grew out of. Yes. Right? We don't need to shoot anybody down, we don't need to condemn anyone, but if we can open our eyes and realize we could do better. L- 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 let me give you another thing I have never told you about. I like to do I'm learning. I like yeah. it. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, S- I I like step into my confessional. Yes. Uh, I I like to to do things on my own. And uh, me too. It, yeah, it is not because uh I don't like to work in groups or like to collaborate with others that's okay. Mm-hmm. So for me it is like for example if you if I say hey please I know you have a studio you are doing a good podcast. Yeah. Please can I come for an interview there is something I want to tell the world. Mm-hmm. And uh because it is yours you say no. For me I say okay. We call these I think the thing, the term that we use in English for the thing you you had the vignette about the house and I talking about the podcast gatekeepers. Yes, gatekeepers. Okay, yeah, they are gatekeepers. Mm-hmm. And uh, and uh, for me what I I I I think is, you know what? Okay. Even if you say no, I can try to some way else. So now this is my concern. It is all about reality. Really whatsoever we can say. Right. Whatsoever we can say. Right. There is a reality. Let's accept reality. And uh, we cannot skip For me for you know what for me I like we cannot escape but we also don't have to accept that it's going to be that way forever. Yes. You know the very good way to change. Cycling it is not all about national team. 
No, of course not. Trust me. But well, that that's sort of like the heart of it, I guess, the yes. center. So why why not? Can you go outside somewhere? Well, you know what my ideas are. <laughs> Yes. Shall we until we talk about that? Uh, yes. Finish, finish your thought. I keep yes. cutting you off, man. I'm sorry. Yes. I get uh, excited. Sure. Why can you no? Why can't you go in those uh, far places from Kigali, up countries? Yeah. And uh, start a cycling project, and helping those very young riders. And you know what you have to do for me. Mm. I I I I have. Uh, How can I say? I committed myself. If you treated me like you, you didn't give me a chance to hear to to hear me, mm. like to listen to me, right. like to listen to me. I won't do the same to someone else. So why why not? Can I like say okay? It is not all about national team. That's okay if for now they see that I don't fit. Uh, as we said, it, 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 this is not reality. It's a conversation. Yes. Right. Yes. So. It, cycling is not limited to 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 the national team, right. which means you can go outside of the national team and begin your something else. Yes, which like you will replicate w- w- what you have been always wanted to do. Yes, and, yes, and, and, and no. by time, it's yes, not that easy though. Not easy. I, I don't know if that's how who I am, but I don't like even easy things. For well, me, that's that's okay. To complicate the process for me, trust me. Right, but it, get, it gets quite complicated. Yeah, it, it's complicated, but I, th- there is something we have talked uh, very. We talk about very often about passion. Yeah, if there is no passion about it, there is nothing. And uh, and uh, w- one thing which I like about um, the complicated process, it proves someone who is really passion passionate. Right, and someone who is who is not. Right, the more difficult it is, the fewer people. Potential people can, can tackle the problem. One hundred percent. That you know, there's a quote. I forget who. I think it was Tim Ferriss that said it. That it's just like, there's the most competition for things that are in the middle, 100%. easy things. One hundred. There's very little competition for the most difficult problems in the world. Yes. So, like, for me, the, the bottom line or the, the the answer for all it or for it all. Huh? Yeah. The only one answer will be okay. There is a room for you where you can like express. Right, go where there's space. Why not? No, absolutely, hundred percent. But you and I, we've had discussions off air about my, the, the the evolution of my thinking about this. Because when I first left the federation, my number one priority, my goal, was to start a cycling academy, and to address all the problems that I saw in developing athletes. Yes. To be able to provide education and sport training and identifying talent all in one package yes. so that athletes would reach the age of 17 when they're eligible to do UCI junior races, you know, bilingual, mm-hmm. educated, not just with, you know, reading, writing, and arithmetic, but able to use the internet, able to understand the world, you know, with a, with a useful education, not just a, a piece of paper. Right. You know, I wanted to prepare kids for life at the yes. same time that it pre- prepared them to be bike racers, patriots, professionals character the whole deal but my my thinking i became very disillusioned and discouraged with that a because that's really hard to find funding for it's difficult you have to hire teachers and people for that you know and i'm not interested in the nonprofit world that's a whole other discussion i don't want to do charity work i mm-hmm. don't want to do i don't want to build something on donations i want to build something that has a heart and roots in the community But I became disillusioned with that even because I started to think and I started to realize that no matter how many kids you develop, no matter how, let's say you have 100, you do this for five years, and you have 100 juniors that are 17 that are ready, that are at the, the level of Reynos, who's mm-hmm. been on this podcast, who mm-hmm. is now getting an opportunity to be on a professional team. Mm-hmm. Let's say you have 100 of him. Where do they go? There's no races. There's only a few spots on European teams. Where do they, there's no jobs and there's, you can't make, there's nowhere to go. There's not enough racing in Rwanda alone. Rwanda is one of the number one cycling countries in Africa. Yes. There's only enough economy and infrastructure on the sport to, su- to support a very small number. Mm-hmm. So what are you doing exactly? You take a kid who's desperate, 
who loves bike racing mm-hmm. like I was when I was young. Yes. And even if you have all the infrastructure and the funding and the money, you can say, come with me. I'm going to teach you everything. Mm-hmm. I'm going to dedicate myself to preparing you to have the same opportunity I had, you know, and mm-hmm. the same life-changing experience with cycling. You're lying to him or her. Mm-hmm. There's, because you have to, you have to be, if you want to be honest, you were talking about accepting reality. Doesn't matter how good you are. Uh-huh. Mm. So my thinking has changed, and I've realized that cycling has the power to change so much and do so much, especially on this continent. But it needs to have roots and an economy in the community. It needs to yes. be native, and uh-huh. there's it's not easy to do. Mm. I have a concept. I have an idea. I've shared it with you. Yes, yes. I don't think we should get into it now because we could probably talk for another two hours just 100%. about that. Yes. And that also comes full circle back to your web developing. Yes. The old, the, 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 we, let's not get too deep into it, but I wanted to ask you, are you familiar with, uh, I think it's Ethereum or is it Ethereum? The blockchain network? Mm, generally, I know about blockchain, but okay, I'm but not have you heard of this? Have you heard of this? I'm probably saying it wrong and embarrassing the fuck uh-huh. out of myself. But it's it's a blockchain you can ho- you can build a web you can build an app on the network yes so the ne- the app doesn't live on google or it's not host it's hosted on a blockchain decentralized network yes so you know my ideas and so i was curious like i don't know how different the coding is or how complicated it is to go with your knowledge to building something on uh ethereum mm-hmm. but it's such an exciting world and to me the idea of 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 thinking about sort of skipping ahead of so many iterations that the rest of the world goes through yes. and what technology we can take advantage of now and use in our own communities. Uh-huh. Um, you know, it, th- The opportunity is so exciting, but mm. it is a really difficult problem to solve. And I think we should talk about that <laughs> next time. <laughs> How long have we been talking for? Uh, that's very nice, I'm okay with that. Let me, let me double check something. Um, You let, tell me, tell me real quickly. Mm-hmm. How much more time do you have? I know you have to go. No, no, no. You yeah, okay for I d- yeah, let's. I don't know. I don't have time. Uh, I think we've just been talking for like an hour. We got another like thirty minutes, right? Okay, that's okay. All right, cool. Um, tell me briefly about the app that you built for Tours Rwanda, which we're not gonna get to see. <laughs> I'm so sad, man. I was so excited to see what you built. Yes. You worked on it straight for like what two weeks? One week. One week. <laughs> you do in one week what most people do in two weeks. I'm sure of it. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's it it it's, it's all about time. Tell us what it was. Mm, yes. What uh, is in uh, in the middle of April? Yeah. Around uh, no, not middle like fifth or seventh. Mm-hmm. I yeah I like it. It just came in mind, mm-hmm. and you know what? Uh, people are not going to go. Like on the finish lines as it used to be. Right, because of COVID. Yes, because of COVID nineteen, and they say, you know what? There should be a way for people to, to follow up. Right. The race, and for me, I just immediately think in my world. Huh? In my world is about coding. Right. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I like coding. Whenever I even we, for we can be having conversation like Such this. Such a powerful tool, man. If you yeah. know how to code, man. Yeah, really. But but it is not. It is the, like it is a skill anyone at any age can learn. Not me, bro. I'm <laughs> dyslexic. I I guarantee you, I cannot learn how to code. Yes, I you guarantee know you. Yes. So, uh, I said, uh, you know what? I can do something immediately. Yeah. It just came in mind like that. Yeah. And I started to email for like for me when I when I I got an idea, I took like three hours, very intensive. Thinking about asking myself questions and uh, try to have something very small, like on paper, how it can be look like. Mm-hmm. Because when I drew, when like you draw a prototype, but 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 not uh, not coded. But just a sketch. Yeah, a sketch. But uh, the the reason why I do so it is it helps me to to like to ask myself some questions. Helps you think. Yes, yeah, helped me to think. To think. So it took me like day, two days. And uh, I got a uh, contact uh, of the director general of uh, 2D Rwanda, mm-hmm. Freddy. Freddy. 
honestly he's a very good man he's he's a smart guy too man this is why i would say so yeah uh but before that the way i i like to walk i don't like to bring what like when we when we, we we agree on something like right. or, or, or when when there is something i need from for you right i will not just say i need this can i do this uh, i say okay let me if it is if if it is like i need you i need a bike from you right i will try to find a w- wheels for me or just uh t- you try to start you try to get together whatever you can get together yes show an example yeah so that the person i'm approaching yeah. we say okay Yeah, he's, he's serious. He, yes. So I sent him a, a, a message WhatsApp. Yeah. Yeah and uh, and uh, he he responded mm. and told me yeah. Let's we, do we, it. We will look at it. He said we will look But at what, it. But what the app was describe what the app was supposed to be. Ah, yes. The app uh, was uh, was supposed to uh, to to like you could get results most right. important thing. Right. And uh, there is something I have uh, I have included which was highlights video highlights which is very important for people who have not been nice so they couldn't watch it live but they could watch video highlights highlights also there is a, a live chat a live chat which is not about interaction between me and you no it was a live but in text manner during the race yes so that like a person in charge would be like texting and right. telling the people who are half the app like hey, a, we, like we a have. quicker version of the twitter feed or people that are actually yes. watching it live could say something yeah twitter feed is a good example yes and you know, we we are now in 15 kilometers uh, someone has crashed uh. so people could follow it live 100% percent. and they could know there was also you put i think you put in data for each stage all the y- courses yes. and everything uh, yeah that uh, and uh, also put uh, i tried like to do some hacking things and uh, <laughs> Well, and who, they tried who, to who did you hack uh, no 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 <laughs> do you hack Zwift no actually no no actually it is not about hacking uh-huh. the reason why I say hack it is because uh, it is it is an external website I used like yeah. to 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 get profiles for right. riders you borrowed I I don't know you, you know the way I like I like to do mistakes but not like those mistakes of uh, I, I will, if it could be a mistake like to I maybe I use your data it was not because I wanted to steal or anything bad it's, it's sort of is it sort of like that thing where it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission yeah sure <laughs> so like you know what I could I uh, the way I could put a name yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. just uh bring a picture a, a profile picture of uh, an a rider who's going to participate in the tour Rwanda uh-huh. so now after after one week and like two days yeah yeah I the app was completed yeah and uh, I I I I now contacted Fred, Freddy yeah uh to ask if like I can uh, for me I thought it was something good easy yeah if easy like to because I I like the technology was was right there yeah. the app was already built it would be uh, for me my thought was like it will be only to put data Mm, how many teams are coming they are, they are they are jazzes so you built the app you just had to input a little bit of the details it's mm, from the way it well it all, only the matter was about data to be completed data data like uh, information inf- yeah. informational data <laughs> yeah information not not uh, data like um, yeah internet, yeah internet. Uh, actually data is information uh, before it is being processed data when it is processed Te- data. teaching me things man <laughs> Yeah so now teach me um, how to speak my own language no 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 man <laughs> <laughs> that, that's in a technology manner yeah that these that, words are fluid sometimes yeah, hacking sure. data yeah it, that, that that is is an information before it is being processed you're right, you're right. yeah so uh when i contacted him the, yeah. the, the, as I, as i said i said okay let me try to put to work on the app very quickly Yeah. So that when he give me chance to meet him, you're ready. I will be ready. So when uh it uh, at that moment it was around uh, it 10th or 12th Let, of April. And so, and bas- basically I'm going to wrap up the story for you because I know your experience was Let me point out just two things. Mm. Sorry for interrupting your story. Yes. But 
One is, this is another testament to your personality and your character that you basically decided if there's even a chance that I can do this. I'm going to fucking build an app for free on my own for a week and do nothing else with no money and no guarantee. 100%. And you actually did it and you delivered it and they what did they tell you? Uh, yeah, he t- he, we, 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 we talked on email again yeah. and he told me it, now it is really like... We we are too late. It's too late. To yeah, it is too late. And uh, and uh, w- before that, mm-hmm. I didn't thought about it. But when it was like fifteen days before yeah. the the what's the, your what's your opinion? Do you think there was time to implement it? Do you think they're just too busy? No, no, no. There was no time. You, so in your professional opinion, you think there's no professional time? opinion. Okay. Actually, that's very good. So maybe you didn't think ahead enough. No, 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 no. I, I just said okay. I I accept. But he gave me a promise that which really I say it was really nice. Yeah. Because he didn't throw me like, no, I just go. Huh? He appreciated because the work you did. He appreciated yeah. because I sent him some some screenshots. Yeah. And uh, and he told me we will look. After that, and uh, in professional manner, I accept it is one like to do things yeah. very quickly. And you know what? The the app will not go anywhere. It will, it is just here. You're right, and that's the, you're, that's a good point because it, it's hard to hear next year because a year sounds like so long, but it's really, not a long time. Yeah, it's not a long time. And uh, now you've got the experience. You built an app. Of course, yeah. There there, there are some like uh, things I, I I worked on on that moment. Really, for me, you know what? If you go on my computer, <laughs> <laughs> man, w- there is a lot of projects. I wouldn't dare, A man. lot, a I lot of projects, yes, which I ha- which has not been seen light. That's like my writing, man. I've yes. written so many things that no one's seen. Yes. I and, can only imagine. And and that's okay because whenever I work on something, so it, you got- I, I, I like, I keep uh, some experience. Right. It is not in vain, actually. Absolutely, I. But you. But this, like I said, this is this is this Very is who you are, man. And this is why you have so much. You have so much potential. And I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just observing. <laughs> I have an, I have. I have a, two more questions for you. Is there anything else you want to say about the app? Yeah. No. no the only thing I say, it. it I. Th- I. I have a hope that it will be used maybe next year. Um, and uh, and uh, my, my 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 projection is to be, maybe it cannot like bring results like immediately because it is not only about app. We have to th- to think about future like uh, future opportunities. Because what do the, the people need? Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure if if they give you a year to develop an app, it's going to be pretty badass. As far as this, the codes are there. The app is there. So maybe after two, 12 Rwanda with some times. You can take notes. You can observe. You can do interviews. You can do groundwork. You can think like, all right, what would be the most amazing app? Like what could really so, blow this race up? Yes, and and uh, maybe the, the next version will, will be much. Man, I, much more I have good. no doubt you're going to succeed. It's real. Ready for the next question? Yeah. Bro. All right, bro. <clears throat> I'm going to turn to something that probably, I'm, I'm sure you don't really want to talk about, but I have to ask you. No problem. Okay. I will try my best. I had one, the one Mugi Shamoys mm-hmm. on the show last week. Yes. We haven't published a podcast yet. Really? <laughs> you, you, and you, as you know, Moise, bless his heart, uh, he, he's not fluent in English. And my bad, even though I've been here six years, I'm not even conversational in Kinyaranda, so we had to use a translator. Oh. I actually used my uh, editor as a translator, oh Jules, uh-huh. who you've met. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, it went great. It was actually a fun conversation to do with the translator. We know basically he's going to have a lot of work to do in the editing room because he, what we're going to do is just do subtitles. His translation is not going to be part of the show. Uh-huh. So anyway, anyways, without going into detail about my production here, yes, um, he told his story, his yes. version of the story. Yes. I asked him about everything. Okay, we've talked a lot about this off yes. air, you and me. Yes, I've had Moise. <laughs> I think this episode will probably come out after Moise's episode. It's yes. going to be a follow-up, yes, and sure. I hope to have Adrian on. Yes. Right? I want to hear from everybody. I'm trying to be unbiased. Right? I don't have a dog in the fight. I wasn't there. But I have worked with Moise a lot in the past on the national team. He's a very talented kid. He's a tricky kid to work with. And he told his version of events, his issues with Adrian, but also his issues with the team. Okay? So I would basically I have two questions for you. One, yes. 
<clears throat> you were there for some of these issues that he's raised publicly with Adrian. I would like to have just a short version from you of what happened. And also I wanted to ask you a little bit about the team, but let's do that after. Yes, yes. Uh, so first, so firstly, Moise told his story in terms of his issues with Adrian. Um, he's trying to get past it now, but mm-hmm. he told his version of this story. Yes. What did you, what did you see? What did you experience? What do you know about this? Of course, the pr- pr- problems were there. Mm-hmm. Were there actually, and uh, it was not uh, something which like began for one day. It is something which was like like most problems. Yes, it, it goes big, it, big, 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 and it it, it exploded. Yes. Yeah. So, what do you think the seed of the problem was? The seed is not about Moise. No. The seed is someone else. Really. Trust me. Someone. You, what do you mean by that? Someone. Someone who was in his life. Out. Yes, in his life. Okay. But who is who was closed, who was close to cycling events. Really. Yeah, sure. Actually, he was among the employees over there at school. Small, small, small politics. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and uh, and it uh, it was all about. Uh, um, you know what? You know about the. P- p- poisoning of what? Huh? I can yeah, absolutely the toxicity of yes. consistency, even tweaking of truth. You know what? That is the only problem. Actual. That is the only problem. There that is, is no. There is no any other problem. It is all about what. You know what? I love that you're putting it this way because I agree with you a thousand percent. Yes. That whatever happened, whatever stories you can tell, that the real problem is about. What you listen, not just what you listen, but what people say, and this, and maybe, maybe a microculture of gossip or let's not call it lying. Let's call it untruth. Yeah, untruth. Yeah, untruth. Or twisted truth. Yes. So. And these boys. That's and <coughs> my experience on the national team has been that <coughs> a lot of these boys that are on the national team, you have to remember they're young. I mean, you're young too, but you have a, a head on your shoulders well beyond your years. Sure. But a lot of these kids come from areas that are far from the city. They don't have a, most of them have to stop school. Reynas was telling me about how when he started training, he had a choice. His teachers gave him a choice, sport or school. So most of them don't even have a regular academic education. They don't come from a background where they're exposed to a lot of diversity of thought and they're susceptible to influence. Mm. You know, someone older, someone they know, someone they think they can trust starts whispering in their ears and they get bad ideas. Mm. I've dealt with this constantly and I've always tried to be empathetic and try to understand what I'm dealing with. Yes. And I've learned a lot it in took six years. years. Yes, I do understand. But it is a bit of a problem. Yes. So now, this is how it is. For me, I'm not that person who say it. Like, who is too much political? Yes, everyone has... Maybe that's the wrong word. I don't know. Do you know poli- Yeah, it's the wrong word, actually. What would you call it? Like, to say... Um, I feel like gossip isn't the right word either, though. No, 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 no. I was, I was, like, moving on another, another oh. good point, okay. which was, which is... It, because I, I'm working with you, it yeah. doesn't mean you, you, you don't have... Mis- hold, hold on one second. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was saying, mm-hmm. um, you were talking, we were talking about the matter of uh, Adrian and Moise. Yeah. One, because my, uh, Adrian is my uncle, yeah. and two, because uh, he's my superior in what we do together, it doesn't mean uh, I can say, like, he, cannot, he, he can make mistake. he's a person. You're not a biased person. I know this. 100%. And I can tell the audiences that Hubert is not the kind of person that takes <laughs> sides. He's the kind of person who... No, I who, don't like men. He, you I s- heard that. You strive to be objective always. And I heard that. Yeah. Yeah, I like to be true, like to use truth and uh, not, not telling someone truth and not like telling myself truth. Yeah, which, and, is, uh, hard, which is the hardest. Yes. Uh, okay, so now... It is not like to say Adrian the you, you had he beats him and uh yes. Yeah from I, that's the, that's the story that he had him. Yes, in. that's the story. But look, 
there is also a question I always ask myself. What's that? Over there in Sakatim, mm-hmm. there are now 11 riders. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now it is 10. I think because Moise is not there. It is 10 riders. He's in, in, co- including in, including Moise let because he's still in Sakatim. He yeah, has contract. He's, looks like he's going to miss to the Rwanda. <laughs> Maybe we can we, we we can we can talk about that also. We'll see. Yes. So my question is why there is no any any other rider or kid who got into the same problems with Adrian's like Moise. Great point. Yes. It, takes, yeah, it is very a, a, a good point because you know what? Uh, it takes two to tango, as they say. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm very sure there is none who you will listen who will say like Moise. We, we remember what we, we talked about this point when we began about gossiping like those poisoning words. Yeah. Which like can can make me to hate you. Right. For no reason, actually. You know what I say? There, there, no, there is no real reason. No real reason. Uh, there, everywhere, everywhere, even between family, a husband and wife, there, yeah. there are problems. Sure. We, no one's perfect. We can't, exp- we can't uh, like, uh, go beyond it. Like, it, it is the reality also. Sure. But every, every problem doesn't mean, like, we have to fight. Yes. So now, they had they had problems yes of of listening to one there is there is there, there is like how moise is there's how like he do things he listen he understand his, or, per- his personality you mean yes yes personality and as you say he's a very good kid he's a very committed guy passionate oh, very passionate he like like he like to suffer and he endures on, yeah. on, in cycling. He has an ability to race. He has. He's one of those guys. When he gets in a race, something a switch turns on. He's not the best tactically. He has a lot to learn. Yes, but he's a, he's a bike racer at heart. One hundred percent. Yeah. So now uh, he has he has he has good personality as well. So for me, yeah, he always seems like he's a good kid. Yes, that's why and, I still. And uh, yes, and I do agree. I do agree one hundred percent. But now. There is something I tried to to talk to him about. What's for that? so many many like for so many times, many times I said, you know what? There is no problem if for me, me and you, we we don't agree on something. It's okay. Yeah. There is no problem about that. Try to listen me, right. and they try to listen you, and try to find a common ground. Right. Where yeah, we can. Walk together. You had these discussions with Moise, you say? 100%. Okay. I tell him, you know what, please. You tried to give him some advice. What? Yes. And advice, not like uh, on the side of a drain. No, no, I don't, I don't ever take sides actually. Right. Yes. So, and said, Moise, try to be humble. Let me use this word, humble. You know, let me tell you what Adrian did, which really I have approved. Hmm. Adrian is that person who don't like keep things for long. Hmm. Trust me, if it is it is, if you come to like to sit, he's someone who can like leave it over there on the table and he moves on. Right. I know so many times. Even Adrian, like you, you had the, the the he beats Moise. Yeah. You know. You know. Yes, of course. What we said that he beat him twice, once in Belgium and once during this race. You know, you, you have to see why. I don't say to beat him is good. Yes, but w- w- like w- what was the reason? You know what? For me you can like you can right. your, your, your 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 actions can like make me do something which seems to be which, which seems to be bad. Right. What led up to it is what you're saying. Like, yes, what yes. Was, what was the what was the before? The, yes, the before. You know what? Uh, maybe he didn't tol- tol- tell you about this, but... Well, this is why I'm talking to you, Andrew. Yes, and we've, yes. We've, there, we've the, talked off air, and I have my on, own ideas about it, but I'm yes. just really... I'm, you have to remember, we're, we're, yes. we're telling other people about this. 100%. So. On that day, uh, like when the, 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 the issue goes like sp- spread all, huh? the issue about beating him and... Uh, you mean when he, w- he became public? Yes. Okay. 
Uh, well, let, let's let's back up. Your, what is? Give me the briefest uh, story of your understanding of the incident that you you were there for. That's what I was going to. I was going to say. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, that, that's okay. That's okay, man. That's okay. Um, I didn't give him water. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, let, 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 let's first try to accept this. Adrian is a respected man in cycling. That's because he, why do we say he's respected? He has achieved a lot. Yeah, he should be. Yeah, it is not someone like for example, it is not like someone like like me. Let's say so. Yeah, like me, where you can like uh, yeah, he's in cycling, but uh, what has he done? Yes, right. it is two th- two different things. So now Adrian give him water. And the guy was like, I don't want, I don't know what took, like, what was on his mind. And he just spilled the water to Adrian in the car. That is the reality. Was there something else going on at the time? Was he angry? Was he? Yeah, he was angry because he said, Ah, you give me water when you give me coca when it is too late. He, there is one car. There is a lot of riders because we, they, they have be, Adrian like uh, make groups in. The, Make groups in them. Mm. Well, no, no. They started in in a bunch. Yeah, the whole group, and uh, as as the race because it was like a race, a training race. Yeah, it was a training race. Uh, as the race goes, uh, like there were groups now. They were separated. So yeah. They were separated, so he could go be behind, be mm-hmm. before. For him, he's not only supporting; he's like o- observing. Right. Yeah, for him to to know he's what the coach. Who's, yeah, he's who's, the he's the coach. Who's strong? Who's now, not strong? Who's, yeah, yeah. for Moise, he was very upset. But now that was not the problem. The problem was those like to be upset. It was like uh, a result of those poisoning words of that. I don't know. I don't want to mention small, that small drops. Yes, over time. from. Yes, small, small, small. Someone was saying, "Hey, Adrian came here to took my job." Adrian, Adrian, Adrian. Adrian. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. So now that's what actually that, that's the the only problem. I'm trying like now to explain, but that is the only problem there. So when we finish, when the training race was was done, Moise came to one of the riders and say, "Hey, you, you know what? When 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 I attack, you came and you bring the whole group. Hey, you you will not go anywhere. You will not reach anywhere." He tried like to insert an, another and another rider. And Adrian, like which was I think it was Set. Set, Seti. Yes. Yeah, Moise told that story. He told it differently, but yeah. No, 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 man. <laughs> I have videos. Well, if you like, I re- I will bring you videos. Because I was like, you know, I like to take uh, those small videos. You got everything on that computer, man. Yes, man, I, I have. <laughs> he was inserting, not like telling, you know, it is one when I can tell you like in in a good manner. And right, it right. is also another when I say, hey, you, you will not reach anywhere. Such kind of things. Yeah. So Adrian got angry. Mm-hmm. And uh, trust me, when he, got <laughs> when he got angry, I know, I know how he reacts. He said, hey, who are you to... Are you the coach? And you know what he did? He actually didn't beat him like, uh, like killing him. Mm. You know, here in Africa, when uh, our parents, when we do mistakes, they go and find a stick. Yeah. And they be, come here. He, it, it doesn't mean he wants to kill you. I was, I was disciplined the same way when I was young. Disciplined, actually. Yeah. There, there was no hate. Now let's. No hate, you said. No, no. There's, there was no hate. Right. I, I'm very sure. So now the problem grew. So wait, 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 what did he do? Did he call him over? He went over yeah, to he, him? Yeah, he, he called him over. Yeah. He tried, he ran very quickly and Adrian could not beat him. Actually, he didn't beat him. Really? Yes, he was like running after him because <laughs> he was already gone. Uh-huh. Yes, so now the problem grew. Right, the problem grew, went yes. public, all this shit. Yes, and uh, what I like, now this is why I like about Adrian, to be honest with you. Yeah. He went, he apologized to Moise. Moise didn't apologize him huh. for the other for the other mistake Right. in the car. Didn't say anything. For the provocation. Yes. I have pictures of Adrian and Moise. You know what? In two, under, he, he showed gave, me, yeah, the, the, them reconciling. Who showed you? Adrian. 
And he, um, yeah, he told me, yeah, where they, it was. Yeah, it was after all this happened. They reconciled. They so went to dinner. They were having drinks. Yes, one hundred percent. There was a helmet, which yeah, Moise yeah. still has, <laughs> Adrian's personal helmet. That's why he's not a, ba- a bad guy, actually. And uh, and uh, well, what he's he's oh, he's wise enough to know that that's not the most important thing. Yes. So oh, yeah, that very word. Yeah. You know what? No, let's let's like cut uh, the story very short. Very recently, they asked him if he could like forgive Moise and uh, let him come back for to Rwanda. He said, "For me, I'm very okay." Yeah, I've talked to him too. He's yes. fine with it. And 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 uh, trust me, as I as someone who was go, who was there at that time, yeah, for me too, it would be it would be difficult for me like to say, "Oh yeah, he he can come, he can come. There is no problem." For me personally, you'd be concerned. I would say no. Because this is why the, the reason why I would say no, it it was it was because of like how he reacted, like Moise, how he behaved. Right, you think it's bad enough that there's the, the, actually the the problem is there is no empathy, like to say ah yes there is problem, but I'm sorry. Like I have realized how it is very difficult for many people to say I'm sorry. They think um, it's a weakness, maybe. Yeah, it yeah it's a weakness, and uh, and uh, they think it's a weakness. Yeah, yeah, they think to say sorry is a weakness. No, yeah. and to apologize is not about weakness. Of course, yeah. Yeah, so um, the, the like the the full version of of this all. Yeah, it is not about Moise. Uh, it is not between Moise and uh, and Adrian. It is someone else outside. Actually, it's a it's a bigger problem. It is a poison. Like it is poisoning words. No, without any other mistake. Okay. And 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 like, uh, d- but let's. Yeah, I, I, I know. I appreciate what you're saying, <laughs> man. I really appreciate your clarification, and um, I've learned a lot from you because I wasn't there and I hear everything, and um, you know, I'm just like, what am I supposed yeah, to? Yeah, everyone can say whatsoever he wants. Yeah, actually. but um, but this leads to uh, that individual that we both know is no longer there it's at uh, the team, but there's still see, there still seems to be an issue and it's not only adrian when i talk to moise he struggles with the like we you know it's not i think maybe it's not just that guy that one person that was whispering in uh toxicity into his ear but without without going into what uh moise had to say i wanted to ask you what is you're no longer with the team what you were you were with the team for a while Yes. Um, because you're a part of the Adrian Nianchuti Cycling Academy, which is which owns Team Saka with Skull. So yes. It's actually a non-profit that owns the team, correct? Yes. And you're part of uh, Adrian Cycling. Yes. Adrian Nianchuti Cycling Academy. Mm-hmm. I always get it wrong. <laughs> and what was your experience of there? I mean, we've been talking forever, but mm-hmm. you want to tell me briefly how, do you have anything to say? About the yes, team. yes. Team. I think my my experience is not good because if I am the regular representative of the Adrian Street Cycling Academy, it yeah. is an organization, a legal organization, a legal entity. With history. Yes, also with history. It's been around for almost a decade now, I think, right? No, no, no. It, 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 it is started in uh, 2013. Okay, that's almost a decade, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's almost, <laughs> n- uh, only two years left. No, one year. <laughs> yes. So I think yeah the experience is not good actually. It is not good because if I if now I'm out. Yeah. And it was not because of my personal choices, but like Well, this is interesting. This goes this circles all the way back to the beginning of our conversation. Here you are this person with all the talents you have <laughs> which are fucking <laughs> obvious and very powerful. And here you are in another dynamic where no one took advantage of what you had to offer. It seems. Yes. What happened? What's 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 wrong here? Some people don't like to be challenged. Well, a lot of people don't like to be challenged, but. <laughs> yes. Yeah. For example, like I can, for me, maybe like I can be in a position where I say. I, my mind is my mind. Your mind doesn't mean anything at all. Right. And for me, I could not be in such of, in such kind of places. Right. Trust me. Not. Close-minded spaces. No, no, no. 
Yeah. I cannot. I can like stay for one day, but yeah. trust me on that day I can't. Right. Even but there uh, for, for but whatsoever like opportunities we are, you are you are putting before me for whatsoever. If it is salary, anything. If you d- if you like you, you you react, like my mind is nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, trust me, I like to to prove people wrong, and uh, I'm on, I'm on my way. <laughs> I know you're on your way. <laughs> A thousand uh, yeah. percent, man. Yes. So I did. I wish, I wish. I wish you were a stock I could invest in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, the experience was not good. I. I well, okay. Maybe, maybe you don't. I think you're such a humble and respectful guy. I think you don't want to go into detail yeah, about your own experience. Uh, yeah, you know. But what I want to ask <coughs> you is about you know. Is there anything you want to say about the team as it is now, or how it has been? that is that is contributing to this issue with Moise? Or is he making uh, it up? Because he talks a lot about the team and his and some issues he has with them. So is he is he being difficult? Is it this one individual or is there a problem there at the uh, team? Actually I'm no longer involved being involved in uh, anything so, like So you don't want to comment? No no like my, my comment will be will be like those general comments. It right, will not right. be like someone who have who who can like tell people what is really going on. I don't have any spot to be honest with and I don't like to like, you know what you have have you ever met with people who like as far as you ask him question he answers even those question he don't have answers just right <laughs> and and for me when I I don't just know make, making shit up <laughs> And for me, when I don't know, I say, "Hey, man, I, I don't, don't know. know." Yeah, so uh, I wasn't it, there. It, yeah, it has been. It has been. Uh, it has been for like uh, now uh, four months with, right. uh, with no interruption. So you can't say with authority what's going on. There. No, 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 no. I think I, I would be lying to the public. I think that that is actually, uh, you know, I think we should wrap it up pretty soon here. But that's another testament to your character and the kind of person you are. The fact that you, even though I think there's things you could say, there's things I could say, and. But you realize that what I was asking you about is the things that Moise said, and you are wise enough, even at 26, to understand that there's a benefit to clarifying some things, mm-hmm. to clearing the air and telling yes, the truth. Yes. But to tell the truth in love means to, there's no, no one benefits if you only say negative things that will have no positive infa- impact. There would be no There's meat. no reason to dig into and say this about that, 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 or what you think is happening, et cetera, et cetera. Even though we've talked about a lot of issues and a lot of things, you know, that we've asked questions about organizations and people that we can't know about for sure, but we're just asking the question. We're not talking shit necessarily. I appreciate that you have that uh, that wherewithal to not, not go into that. Yeah, uh, c- uh, c- concluding that point. Sure. L- l- let, me, let me say this one word. As as I told you, like you can't, you can't like uh, imagine how motivated I am. Like when I saw, when I was like uh, uh, being taken out, taken out. Yeah. Trust me, I'm very motivated, and uh, I want to prove some people wrong. Taken out of the team, you mean? Yeah. But you left. You weren't taken out. You left. No, no, no. Uh, I was like <laughs> forced to. <laughs> Both. It was. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, they were the reason why I say take, taken out is because it was not my willing. I, I see. could keep on working, doing more. Well, you were committed. Yeah, I was committed, and uh, and uh, and uh, when I and you're still working with the team. You're still doing all this. You know, lift. Y- yes, you're still doing all the media. Wh- <laughs> let, let me tell you when w- the reason why I'm doing. I'm not doing on behalf of school. You're doing it first. Be- because it, we have a, a partnership. The time the pas- the partnership will be. We be no, we no longer be there. Done. You're a professional. That's that's the long. That's that's basically what we need to understand here. Is you're yeah. a professional. You 100%. understand what needs to be done. Yes. You understand that reacting to this over here harms things that you don't want to harm. One hundred percent. You want to support the athletes. You want to support the academy. You want the team to succeed, even if other people don't. Yes. Trust me. That's why. And and the the only conclusion I, I have on that point is trust me. I will make. I will like it is not about I'm, I'm not angry but at certain points i say you know mm, I, I i like to be challenged there, there are some people i would like to prove wrong very wrong trust yeah. me i'm i'm so motivated i'm very motivated about that i can't wait bro and and, and, and <laughs> it, I, I like when someone like 
it, it, he, you seemed before him like you are nothing or you can do not, nothing. And he, man, you, you show him that you can do like everything. You're like, just wait, bro. Yeah, man. Just wait. It, it, uh, for, for, for some moment, it hurts me really. But uh, it's motivation. Yeah, it's it, fuel. Yes, it, it was fuel, actually. Man, I, I think we could talk for a long time and we will, but I think <laughs> it's a good place to wrap this up. Man. Bro, I'm so happy that you're here and we got to talk and that people get to meet you. Yes, thank you so much. Even I'm learning a lot. How about you promise us you're going to come back for round two? 100%. All right, bro. Thank you, man. Let's get out of here. Yeah, bro. Hubert, Maracos. Thank you so much. See you, everybody. Yeah. Oh, man. That was very nice. Hmm? <laughs>